We often hear you mention your teacher's name, Dr. Fatul Rahman Ansari Rahmanullah, and you thank him and pray for him. But we have found some scholars who copy what you say and never thank you or acknowledge you for the knowledge they copied. One in particular is Abu Taha Muhammad Adnan from Bangladesh, who is a, and copies exactly what you say, but we hardly hear him mention your name. What are your thoughts on this? Dean, if there are so many people in the world today who have confidence in my integrity as a scholar of Islam, one of the reasons for this is that if I ever make a mistake and I realize that I've made a mistake, I am the first to rush to correct myself. I don't delay in correcting myself. I don't care for consequences. This is integrity. The second thing is that even if I learn something from a child, I will always say I learned it from that child because that is integrity. I don't know why they learn from me and then they reach out their knowledge to others and they refuse to acknowledge that they learned it from me. Whatever be the reason why they are acting in this way, let me warn them that this is not the road of integrity. People will eventually lose confidence in you since you and you lack the courage and you lack the integrity to say, I learned it from him. I have always, always, always honored my teacher, Maulana Dr. Fadlur Rahman Ansari. I, want, I learned from him and what I learned from him has helped me to become what Allah has caused me to become today. I always honor him, I always respect him, and I always say, I learned it from him. That is the road to integrity. These people who are copying from me <laughs> and preaching as though it is their own knowledge when they've learned it from me, they are lacking in integrity. And if you walk along that road, eventually you will lose confidence. People will lose confidence in you because you do not have integrity. Let me warn them that the road to integrity is if you learn something from someone, you must give credit to him.